Democratic party leaders gather this morning in Minneapolis. Four of the party's presidential candidates will speak at the Democratic National Committee's summer meeting. Vice President Joe Biden will not be there, but questions over his intentions will loom over the entire event. Juliana Goldman is in Minneapolis to preview today's gathering. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Well, Hillary Clinton's campaign is certainly feeling the Biden buzz. Last night, she spoke to more than 100 DNC members who have pledged their support, and her staff is spending the next two days trying to secure more commitments. We're going forward. We're not going back. Hillary Clinton's campaign is sending this form, obtained by CBS News, to top Democrats, asking them to pledge their support at next summer's convention. Asking them to commit now is one way of shutting out competitors like Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley or potential rivals like Vice President Joe Biden. Joe Biden is my dad. Ahead of this week's Democratic gathering, Biden told party leaders the death of his eldest son, Beau, has left him torn. In audio obtained by CNN, he said he doesn't know if he or his family have the emotional fuel to endure a campaign. I have to be able to commit to all of you that I would uh, be able to give it my whole heart and my whole soul. And right now, both are pretty well banged up. But Biden is checking all the right boxes for someone who is considering a potential run. The latest sign on Thursday, he met with Richard Trumka, the president of the AFL-CIO, a key union for Democrats. The magnifying glass on Biden's every move has added a twist of intrigue in Minneapolis, where DNC members like Alma Gonzalez say they have yet to settle on a candidate. Until you make a commitment, until everyone has had a chance to put their hat in the ring and be vetted, uh, we have to remain open-minded. As Clinton faces criticism from her party over her private email server, a new poll shows the Democratic frontrunner support dropping among Democrats 10 points in the last month. Josh Alcorn with the Draft Biden 2016 Super PAC has been holding small information sessions at the summer meeting, but he says interest is climbing. When Draft Biden started back in March, there were 2,000 people on this email list. Uh, when I started, when I came on board in the beginning of August, we were at 150,000 uh, petition signers and, and, you know, we're at over 210,000 today. The DNC is honoring Beau Biden today with a resolution paying tribute to his life and career. Margaret, the vice president's late son, is said to have encouraged his father to run for president. Juliana, thank you.